is up hello my name is Chantal and if you've never seen my face before it's really nice to meet you shake both of your hands yes if you have not already subscribed to my channel maybe you should go ahead and do that because I would really appreciate it it would be really nice for those of you who keep track of my videos and boom I wasn't here last week and I'm not even gonna say sorry for it because number one no one really cares if I upload or not and number two I have to prioritize school comes first and other things sometimes come first today's topic will be talking about things that boys just don't understand these are just like things that girls are like dude same I'm not saying Every single boy does not understand this. Maybe there are boys out there that use these things or do these things, and that's cool. I'm just talking in general, and I'm also talking general for the girls. Maybe not all of you girls do these things or can relate to that, but it's fine because I'm not talking about you. Let's get to the stuff that boys just don't understand. Okay, so let's start with the obvious thing that boys just don't understand, okay? These things. These are your pads and your tampons. Okay, not pads. This is a panty liner. You see, boys won't understand. They will just be like, oh, that's a pad because I'll be able to stick on your panty. Boys do not understand what it is like to start your period when you are in public or you are not at home or you just don't have a supply of these things and, and like you have to go and ask fellow girls if they've got something extra for you and sometimes they don't even have so then what what do you do like i'm lucky at university i can just go to the mini supermarket at my student center and then just purchase one and then i'm all good i shouldn't have done that now i'm regretting it because i just saw the mess i made okay wait let me pick it up <laughs> so the second thing i have i just broke a little on my list Different types of bras. Okay, so when you're like me, who wasn't really blessed in the chest area, different types of bras can come in real good handy. Real can come in handy? Real good handy? I don't speak English. Yeah, I do. So we have our normal bras. They can also be strapless. You know, just take the straps off. And then you just put it like this. And for anyone who's going to like complain, oh Chantal, you're exposing your bras. Like, it's fine. I'm not showing you anything else. This is just underwear. I mean, come on, chill. What is the difference between your underwear and your bikini? Nothing. Okay, there is a bit of a difference. Well, then you got your normal, again, bras. Look how pretty this one is. And it just has your straps that just don't come off. So you just chill with it, you know. Then you have your bras that help you out a little bit. And they have like the extra cushioning here. So yeah, push up bras. It just makes it like a bit more pretty out there. And then you have your sports bras when you just don't care and you just. So boys don't have to really go through like, oh, this bra doesn't fit me. Oh, the cups are too small. Oh, it's a bit too tight on my body. Oh, it doesn't help me have boobies. Like, next thing, various products. Okay. I bet you boys don't understand why girls have like multiple products for like the same thing. So I got some Kareem body lotion just for like, and then I have a body butter. It also moisture. And then I have a toner for my face. girls like we have so many things that do the same thing but like they don't do the same thing does it make sense no probably doesn't but that's fine the next thing I have ten things by the way the next thing is nail polish colors like brah there are some days where I just crave to paint my nails but then I sit there and I'm like I don't even know what color like should I go dark should I go light should I go bright should I go dull should I go and just things make it worse for you when you have these many colors some girls have even more than that so I don't know how you survive on picking colors for your nail polish the next thing is various bags we always have multiple bags for multiple things but yeah 
I totally get you. I'm not complaining because I do these things. So I have this bag when I just go out quickly. Then I have this bag when I have a longer day out and I just wanted to match my clothes. You know, it's like, it's light and pastel-y and I use this bag in the night or just when I feel like being a little more fancier and I like to use it in winter because it's a dark color. And then I use this bag most of the time when I just want to feel all pretty and fancy and I use it for the day. It's better for the day than the night because I mean it's a light color. And these aren't all my bags but these are the bags that I use all the time. Okay, the next thing on my list is difficulty of making friends with other girls. I've explained in my previous video that girls just give you these looks like you did something to them and you did it. They don't even know your name. They just see you and they're like already, oh, it's her. Like her. It's, you don't even know me, bruh, so just sh shut up, please. Ooh, the next thing. Hair ties and clips. Ooh, boys, you will not understand what it is like having so many of these and then losing them and you don't even know where they go and then you're left with one and then you're just like I have to look after you because you are my precious because we only have one and you know we don't want to go spend money and buy more because that money can be used for food why use it on elastics where you can buy food but yeah lucky for me I have a whole lot of these and these are nice because these are ones that never ever snap the one that's in my hair right now leading to my next thing that boys don't understand is when your hair elastic snaps and mine is on the verge of snapping so i don't want to touch it right now so the last thing is i'm pretty sure all boys know this girls have so much clothing and yet they have nothing to wear no too short no i don't like skirts these are too small for me these are pajamas no too hot for that, too hot for that, uh-uh, too short, no, <laughs> I don't have any clothes, I don't have anything to wear this weekend, what am I gonna do, I need to go shopping because I don't have any clothes to wear this weekend, no, okay, alright, so that's an example of what it's like to be a girl with regards to clothes, Okay, so that was my video. I hope that you liked it and you related to most of it. And I am going to die because I have to fold all of these clothes now. Give this video a thumbs up if you did. And if you have any suggestions or would like to just tell me something, go ahead and comment that in, in the comment box below. And yeah don't forget to check out my collab channel with my friend nicole subscribe and also check out her channel and subscribe because she's really awesome and i think you guys should follow her i'll see you guys hopefully next week with another video and okay bye now i'm gonna go make popcorn i'm really hungry bye peace out i love you give me a hug just bring it in okay bye I'm terrible at winking. <laughs> Ew. I know I already said bye, but just like a quick note. For those of you who might possibly complain about my thumbnail, like, hey, Chantal, you're wearing a bra on your head. Ew, there's a pad stuck to your forehead. Ew, ew. Honestly, if you saw the bra in my thumbnail and you didn't like it, then don't watch my video. And second of all, everyone is in a bra. And some people wear bikinis that look just like underwear. So I don't see what the problem is. So like if you have a problem with it then I hope you get over it because life's too good to be upset about me wearing a bra on my head. But you are, but you are.